Hello, fifth grade. Um, I am going to go over the second page for today's lesson on Plymouth. Yours truly did not put that into the previous video. So I'm going to go briefly through it. Um, if you already did it on your own, perfectly, you could come up with your own ideas of using your senses of how the Plymouth um, colonists felt or ate and um, using those keywords in the word bank. But if you want to follow along, I'm going to go through that right now for all of you to um, make sure we finish that up. All right, so we have our Plymouth colonists, our pilgrim, and we have listened, ate with my hands, I, I watched, I smelled, I felt. Uh, we have a few more than the previous one from Jamestown and Roanoke. Um, and we have King James, Separatist, Mayflower, Mayflower, Compact, Squanto, and Thanksgiving. And this pretty much goes in order of the reading. So I'm actually going to use the reading as a reference point of um, what I'm going to include. So first, uh, King James. Right. So it says King James said everyone in England had to belong to the Church of England. So I'm actually going to put that as my listened. So I put. I listened as King James the first said everyone had to belong to the Church of England. Um, next, I'm going to jump to I felt and I'm going to use the word separatist um, where we can say I felt. Uh, what does it say here? Um, among them were the people called the separatists, a group that wanted to have their separate church and be independent. So they decided to move to a place where they could be free to practice their own religion. So maybe we can say, I felt hopeful that my fellow separatists and I will find a new life in America. Next, we have I smelled. And I'm going to use the word Mayflower. So they were out in the ocean and they land on the ship called the Mayflower, and after two months at sea, they land on the tip of Cape Cod. So maybe we can say, I smelled the sea, I smelled the salt of the sea on board the Mayflower during our two-month journey. Next, we have um, the Mayflower Compact. So the Mayflower Compact um, was that the men signed aboard the ship before they landed on um, Plymouth or before they will they name the place Plymouth. So we can put, um, I watch the men of the Mayflower, or I watch the men sign the Mayflower Compact before going ashore. All right, so I put, I watch the men sign the Mayflower Compact before coming on shore. Next we have um, Squanto. Remember Squanto helped them survive their first hard winter and taught them how to, um, plant corn and catch fish and get sweet syrup from the maple trees. The pilgrims were so grateful that they thought Quanto had been sent by God. Um, he told them about the diseases and had been away in England. Okay, so um, we can say with my hands, I, I mean, they planted. So with my hands, I planted corn and caught fish as Quanto taught me and my fellow pilgrims. So we can use that for um, with my hands, I. So I put with my hands, I planted corn and caught fish as Squanto taught me and my fellow pilgrims. Next, we have Thanksgiving. So we can say um, we know that the Thanksgiving was the feast they had with the natives. So um, we scroll down here with the Wampanoags. They had a celebration um, to Day, the people in the States. Okay, so the Thanksgiving feast lasted three days. So I ate our Thanksgiving feast with the Wampanoags in celebration of our harvest. And that's using this information right here. All right, so here is our Plymouth um, Pilgrim. And we said, I ate our, let's get that little square out of here. Um, I ate our Thanksgiving feast for three days with the Wampanoags. All right. So if you want to, you can always just pause it here and review to make sure you got everything for um, our word bank. In our next lesson, we are going to talk about the King Philip War and really how um, the English were able to take over so much of the New England uh, territory. Have a great day, fifth grade.